Hey guys, Brian from Bearable Traders. It's April 4th, as you can see, and uh, I'm just going to go over a swing trade that I did. Now, I haven't been doing many swing trades the last couple days or week or so because of the volatility in the market, and so it's kind of difficult to hold things because you just never know which direction the market's going to go each day. But I saw this swing trade set up, and I uh, I really liked it and so I did it and I didn't post it just again because kind of I kept the size small because I just think everything's a little dicey right now for swing trading but uh, I did like the way this thing set up so I did think think to um, you know that it was worth taking a trade on and I'll show you why or how I found it and why I thought it was a good trade so <clears throat> basically what I did was a I did a scan I looked for uh, price action and stocks price that was trading above the simple 20-day moving average but below the 50 and 200 and the reason I did that was I was looking for reversals so anything that's above the 20 is starting to reverse uh, just starting to reverse you know it hasn't caught up to the 50 or 200 because it haven't hasn't crossed those lines yet so uh, I thought you know it's a good way to catch a reversal so I did that scan and I came up with SSC and you can see here it's sold off quite a bit uh, started some bottoming action this is the 20 day moving average right here this is the 200 and this is the 50 so you can see here when I did the scan I found you know price action above the 20 day simple moving average but still below this 250 moving average and then I looked at the pattern of this stock and I really like the pattern on it. You know, you can kind of see, you know, things that you like to see in a reversal. You like to see those uh, low and then a higher low, you know, and then it didn't break here. Uh, another higher low here and then higher highs as well uh, along the way. And I didn't actually pick this up. I didn't, hadn't been doing scans, so I didn't pick this up till, till uh, I think when it was it was on this sort of uh, bull flag here and, and it just looked like a really nice setup nice bull flag a um, couple of bottoming patterns there so that's why I really like this uh, this trade it looks just looked like a, a really nice setup for a continuation and that's exactly what we got so I got in you know I found this on uh, I guess it was on the 29th um, you know opened up on the the second I was going to get in and you can see it gapped up here um, but I still wanted to take the trade, so I think I got in around 240, and uh, you know, knowing my stop now is going to be around 220, so 20 cent downside, and uh, I was looking at this this filling this gap here, which was about you know 280, so 240 to 280, 40 cent upside, um, two times reward to one time risk. Um, would have been better to get an entry down here at 220, but uh, obviously you got that's when you find these things and they gap up and they move away on you. So you got to be quick to reassess what your risk reward is. But still thought it was a good trade. Um, like the price action during the day, I think this is quite a big down day here, and and the stock was up, so that gave me some confidence that it was going to continue. And I you know held it into into today and I sold it up around 280, 290, I scaled out of it. So real happy with uh, the way that trade uh, turned out. So anyway, that was, uh, that was a swing trade. It was only, uh, I only held it, uh, I guess only held it one day, but uh, it turned out really good and it was a really nice setup. So anyway, that's it. Um, hope you got something out of this video. I'm going to be looking for more swing trades and in the future maybe going to start posting some of them um, that I find. So um, we'll see you in the day trading room tomorrow, bearable traders. Have a good night, guys.